that game was fucking nuts. Yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna watch this one. Oh. So you got it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, you got in and then instantly popped you out. Wow, oh, dude, that was nuts. That was fucking insane. Yeah, in fact, you, you have to be right, dude. The Zerg wasn't doing shit then. And entire. he was just tanks and tanks and tanks and tanks and more tanks and tanks and tanks. And, tanks. and I'm like, holy shit. You can't shit. that many tanks without you, somebody just feeding you money. Yeah. Like, you just can't do it. Yeah. Like, he was, on, he was on four or five bases, even to six maybe. Like, he uh, had a lot of bases, don't get me wrong. But, like, when he's so building did, did, more tanks than I'm building Hydralisks, holy he shit. A bunch of, um, of the Terrans bases then? Or, what I mean, did you take to the Zerg spaces? Because, so, dude, we had two-thirds of the map by yeah. the end of the game. Yeah. So it's like, they, they were not on that many bases. Uh, so he takes, yeah, we'll, we'll see. He takes, like, this one. Um, I know he takes this base and this base. I think he has this base, which would give him five. I think he takes that whole left side. down. I, I, we keep him off the corner. He does take that, but we keep him off of it. And, they, and and again, I think they had some early. They had a lot of early pressure, actually. Now that I'm remembering this, like, yeah, he's... like, dude, he, they were trying to just win it. He was trying to win it early. I, I mean, mean, dude, who gets blue flame hellion unless you're trying to win the game early? Well, I mean, or against they, double zerg, you know that they're not gonna have a wall, so it's just gonna be. It, there, there's so much area for them to just slip in and do damage, like in twos. Yeah. I can actually, like, twos and this map especially, like, there's this giant shared ramp. You know that we're going to both be trying to take our seconds, possibly thirds. That's a great, yeah. that's a great dive. Yeah. No, well, but that's what I'm saying is I feel like that, that is a great dive, but I feel like they were trying to do, like, either game-ending damage or game-altering damage. Uh, game-altering damage. Like, Hellion run by isn't, is rarely ever game-ending, but, you know, killing off a drone line, that's game-altering. Well, and again, in 1v1, that would be game-ending. Right. Like, if you kill off one drone line in 1v1, it, it might not be game-ending right that minute, but you should probably be able to win that You game. should be able to force the game into a winning position. Yeah. Oh, God, and here's yeah. the tanks show up. Jesus Christ, I kept trying to send in links because links are good against tanks, but yeah, when they have fucking 20 goddamn fucking tanks... Well, and, and, and blue flame tanks. hellions. And blue yeah. flame hellions. Well, I'm, I'm talking late game, mm -hmm. like, towards the end of the game, when you had fucking, like, 15, 20 tanks, it's like, well, dude, I can't do anything with that. And I just quit building roaches, I was like, fuck this, roaches aren't doing shit. Late, you know, and, I, actually, maybe roaches, but, but I was so, uh, no, I was so heavy on gas. I should have kept building roaches. That's where I fucked up. I think that's where I fucked up. I should have teched into broods way sooner. Well, I mean, again, sure, but, dude, right now I'm on 35 workers. Like, he kept roasting my fucking workers. And, and he's he, and he actually has 50 SCVs. They're, how do you do workers killed? Uh, they don't have a workers killed in default mode. Yeah. Well, usually they have one um in 1v1, but... Yeah, but, yeah, no, in teams is a different overlay. Okay. Huh. Now that blue player was on that top right base for a lot longer than I was hoping. Uh, yeah, no, he, well, you killed it at one I point. killed it, he but, he, like, I mean, he's mining it, and I don't kill it for a while. Um, yeah. He builds a spire there to completion before I even show up to kill it, so it's like, it's gonna be a while. Okay. Fuck, though, no, dude, what a fucking game and a half. Uh Again, even had we lost this, I still would have been like, what a game and a half. Cause okay, yeah, I so, okay, so, well, I guess maybe, uh, production. He just, he started Zerg. Okay, no, okay. I was like, I'm trying to watch for, like, mineral dumps or something like that, and I saw the blues money go down, but he was supply blocked while he just started an upgrade, so I guess that's reasonable. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to look at, like, resources and shit like that. Uh... Oh, income is what I want to look at. Generally income, but between income and resources, resources tell you what they actually currently have. Income is just what they're yeah. getting. So I, I, I have of. red. I have red selected. Um, I have red selected, so I'm I'm looking for any major spikes. Yeah. I I think well, but again, it's not until the late game. Yeah. Like, like right now, like, like he's got three base. He's going to four, and he's just been building tanks and like yeah. 
and, uh, and factories, like, yeah. But so, but that's what I'm saying, it's like, I don't think it was still later in the game. Because yeah, because right now the Zerg's still building a bunch of Hydra. Yeah, but once that pack of Hydras dies, yeah. I don't think I see a Hydra after this. <laughs> like, I don't think I saw a Zerg unit after a certain point in time. You know what I mean? Yep. God damn. If I'd done Mutas, too, they have zero anti-air. Oh, God. Mutas, in their bases. We would have won this game 20 minutes ago, dude. Yeah. With fucking Mutas. Yeah, if I'd done Mutas, we, like, the game would be over think. right now. Yeah, dude. He has one. Look at it. Or he has he has a couple of fucking. No, he's putting up. Actually, he's putting up a lot of fucking. No, those are tech labs. Yeah, he's not even putting up that many fucking turrets. Yeah, I don't know how many times I fucking lost my entire army, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's the five health tank that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I was so pissed. I tried to get some fucking uh, hydras on it. I hit it, so I dropped from 20 to 9, and I'm like, fuck. Uh, but I, I literally had lost everything at that point. Yeah, I salvaged <laughs> eight fucking guys. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, shit. What a, what a fucking fun game, though, dude. Yeah, I'm at 135 supply right now. What are you at? You're max, probably, 158. Right? If you hit R for resources, you can see everyone's resources, but it also shows your, your supply. Oh, okay. okay, cool. Yeah, what a, what a fucking psychotic game. Dude. But again, so, like, these are the games that if I lose these, I got no problem. It, it's, it's when... I go against uh, either mass. This, ga this game, I would have been, I would be less frustrated. Like, I'd be just kind of frustrated, being like, "Oh, dude!" But what, what? I love about dude, oh, those last vials didn't do shit. But I, I was raining vials down initially because there were so many hydras, you can't even micro them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And and I'm getting some of the tanks, or at least I'm getting damage on them. Oh man. Yeah, and then I lost everything. Couple more blinding clouds, keeping your shit down. Well, and this is what's funny is I finally got some infestors, um, and I didn't get to use them that much, but I did use them a couple times. You'll get to see it here in a minute. Uh, it's in fact it's right up here where all the tanks are here in a little bit. Where I uh, I think I I neural. Where are my infestors? Or it might be the next engagement, but... But I, I had won a game once before where I fucking... Oh, dude, all my rookies just get fucking smoked by the tanks. Dude. Oh, but they're tanking damage for your ultras, so that's good. Yeah, and the Hydras more specifically. Yeah, yeah. So that, that actually worked out okay. Yeah, so uh, th this should be about when I go and actually kill that blue base off. So he's mined, so he's mined a fair bit from it. Oh, here's the run by that we have to deal with, yep. Yeah. Which does they, nothing. Dude, but again, Terran was really good about the run buys, man. Like, this late in the game, I don't even think about run buys. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe in a 1v1 I would. But, uh, but, dude, and part of my problem in this game is that I thought we were going to win this, and so I was like, I'm just going to stay on 3 base. Like, I really thought we were going to win on 3 base, and so I was like, yeah, I don't even need to fucking... Never stop taking bases. I I know I know you're right you're right but but again in my head I was like oh I got this like or we got this I'm just gonna stay on three base and and you're right you're 100 percent right dude but and this, yeah Jesus Christ dude look at these tanks just right here he has fucking uh, 16 tanks right just right but the, there but this is the la I think this is the lot because here's ult the blue has ultralisks in his army value too so. I know, when I ran into an Ultras, I thought it was yours, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh Fucking God. blinding cloud, just blinded, like, that is a cloud of blinding cloud right there. He un finally unseages, but that's actually, like, he should have waited, and just waited for the blinding cloud to wear out yeah. off. Well, and this is where I come in late with my fucking, with my, uh, infestors, I think. No, I it must be later. I must have built like a dozen Evo chambers, cause that's the thing. Like that's the building to use, other than an extractor for uh, cheap uh, yeah, health. Consume. Yeah, for consume. Yeah. 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 And yeah, I burnt yeah. through 
a lot of like that. I just burned through a lot of energy doing Blinding Cloud. Oh, oh yeah. This is the th like this has been the game that I have used the most Viper Blinding Cloud ability stuff ever. I even do a couple of a duck a, 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 a ducks. So this is my problem, dude. Okay, I haven't even started Adrenal Glands, and I've yeah. had a high for a while. Um, yeah. And, and like I didn't get a high for vipers or for anything other than adrenal gland, and I forgot to keep doing it. But uh... okay, so that might actually be part of the reason the Zerg didn't build anything. He's now on one, like his income is just so shit. Yeah, yeah, dude, 140 fucking minerals yeah. right now. Well, yeah, he only has 23 workers, and he's really just on half. Like he's on his expo. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, but... uh, attacking that. P for it. It's a that's a double P for it. Like that's just not gonna work. You need to be able to kill it. Well, I tried. I killed a ton of workers. There. Yeah. I had to. Have, I killed almost all the workers, in fact. Which is I good. Didn't just attack the P for like an idiot, right? I was like, okay, I gotta kill the workers. But uh... oh man, what a game! Yeah, who builds three fucking command centers like that? And he's turning the third one into a planetary fortress, yeah. dude. Yeah. Well, he wants to. He wants to hold this corner, absolutely. Yeah, because like with the tanks, not even that many minerals left, though, dude. Yeah, yeah. There's like. There's it like it helps seven, hold the corner as like even when he moves down to the bottom when he wants to try and take that that other corner. It's like his tanks can't be in four places at once. So yeah, yeah. he needs to make sure that he can't like he if he can't go back to well, save it, it needs to be able to save itself. And that's where I was trying to expand, and that's when I was like, "Oh, he's trying to take a base." Yep, and he which, tries, and dude, he tries to my, take his base too. My my drone sits there for like two minutes before he even fucking kills it. <laughs> fucking so many tanks! So many he's, tanks. He's, he currently I've has twenty-two seen, active tanks. Like he just is tanks. I've never seen something that fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you had a lot of shit, because I was like, dude, we're dead. When I saw all those tanks, I was like, we're... Oh, this is where I send in my, uh... My, uh... <laughs> this is where I send in my fucking infestors. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you actually do it, yep. I, I neural a few of them, and then I'm like, yep. kill them, kill them, kill them before the neural wears out. Uh, I only neuraled two, I guess. Yeah, you only neuraled two, but, that, like, it's oh. fine. They still did work. A bunch of them died, yeah. But, but yeah, again, like, dude, they're, yeah, they're putting in some work. Oh, yeah, in fact, those actually put in a good amount of work. And I kill them just as they come out, so, yep. It worked. Uh, yeah, I, I kept trying to get, uh, get my infestors in the game, and I just wasn't able to. So I kept having no army. You know, if you have an army and then a hotkey of infestors, it's like, okay. I can fuck around and do some shit, but every time I try and use my infestors, my entire army was dead, and I'd be like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, his Hellion run buys were really, really good, dude. Like, yeah. like really, really good, dude. It helps to just throw down uh, like two spine crawlers, so that oh, when his guys man. are there, if he ju if he if he does an attack move, they'll go for the spine crawlers. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I know that's um like one of the things they call it um. Um, like, probe hold position, or like, worker hold position? Right, right, so if, what he needs to do is run the Hellions into the mineral line and do a hold position, and if he does a hold position, they'll only attack what they have in range. So if when, the spine crawler's no, out of range... What I'm talking about is, um, like, if they, if, depending on the setup, when they come in and attack your mineral line, if you're gonna pull probes anyways, you can set your probes to hold position, and if they're A-moving, if your probes are blocking out the Hellions, and you have um, ranged units behind, then they can attack. And the yeah, Hellions you will make be like a wall attack. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, the Hellions will be trying to attack your army units yep. behind the wall of, of uh, drones, but they won't attack the drones unless they right click them. Because if they A move, they go after the army units first. And so you hold position your fucking workers, and then if somebody A moves shit in, it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> See, I felt good here because I had some, uh, some, some lings and some veins, and then they just all disappeared, dude. I, I don't know. I, dude, I lost my army like ten times. In yeah. Fucking game, dude. 
I've actually lost more resources yeah, than you. I got a wrap around. I got a wrap around there, right? Yeah, like, there you go. I got a good. I got a good wrap around, but. Uh... Oh, you going like actually? You could have killed like two more tanks there. But I yeah, know, so like, but... but red tried to take the corner and I denied it. Blinding cloud. Oh, I guess. Okay, so I guess it was the melee, you can so it does work. Blinding cloud, okay. a fucking planetary fortress. Yeah, it looks like because it didn't start attacking until it could hit the ultralisk. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the abducts, ah. Yeah, I started doing some abducts too, because like, doing an abduct is only seven, er, it, it, it saves me 25 energy. If, yeah. if I'm only going to kill one guy and I'm also just going to go ahead and kill it, it's... Yeah. Well, one of these, uh, like, three or four player games, I definitely want to try and, like, rush Vipers, assuming we go long game. Right. That's not what's happening in three and four, so. And they, you get you get all of those tanks, but it's like if only they were in siege mode right now. Oh god! I know, I know. But but again. Yep. You, it's, it's, it still works because like they're. Yeah. Are they they're, attacking they're doing damage. I well, guess they then, ignore. It looks like they ignore the the knurled units. Uh. I don't I don't know. You're right. saying that. So like yeah, so like the enemy doesn't attack. Him. Yeah, like so red does not attack his own siege tanks. It looks like. I, I want to say that was a decision that he made. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. I want to say. Uh, but I, I could be wrong. But I want to say uh. that he decided to not target those units. Okay, yeah, I was like, dude, at some point I got some tanks. Oh, it's because they're uh, the closest ones are um, under the. So like from the Viper, where they're made. Right, right, like so, right now, like oh, this turn. tank, right? So like the one tank you have left should be being shot at by four different tanks. Well, okay, so like there is one, like you have oh, one tank. There's four tanks that should all be able, that that should be but, able to hit it. They're all but, on but, cooldown. But, but look at the um the red tank. It looks like it's shooting at the the one that I'm controlling. Which which none of them look like like you have one like at this point right now you have one tank. All you of his tanks. You see the one firing, though? You see the one firing? Your tank is firing. His no, tank that, is not. No, that's not my tank. Click on it. It's not my tank. Oh, yeah, no, it's not my tank. The one... The, the one there is firing. one purple tank. Yeah, but you see the one on the right? The that right. Actually has, that's firing right no, now? No, it, it is pointing at your infestors. It, like, zoom in. If you hit... Uh, oh! Yeah. yeah no, you're Yours right, is firing. Right. They're ignoring your tank. Huh. I w I'll bet that's the AI though, because the AI, the AI probably says if you can see the infester, kill it. Well, yeah, no, no, for sure. Look to the upper left. There's four siege tanks that are way out of range of all of the infestors. They cannot see the infestors. Yeah, and they should be able to shoot at that, and they're not even looking at it, huh? Nope, they're completely ignoring it. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet they make you micro. Like, if yeah. you get knurled, I'll bet they make you micro to kill those units. But typically, well, you don't but that's the, kill them. Exactly, that's the whole thing. You want to just kill the infestors. So, the, like, yeah. the AI f says, well, ignore inf infested units. And, but even if you can't kill the infestors, you don't want to kill your own units because exactly the infestors are probably going to lose. You know the the spell is going to expire, and then they're going to be like, oh, now exactly, I have my units exactly, back. exactly. So things yeah. that get infested get ignored. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Dude, this is where I ran into some circles, and they all just get toasted, and I was yeah. like, oh fuck. Well, yeah. There goes my army again. <laughs> well, so he's got three attack upgrades, so he's doing 52 damage to your Zerglings. Oh. What, yeah. What do three three Zerglings have? 35 health plus three armor, so they take one 50 shot damage. Die. Yeah, they f take one shot and die. So oh, a siege that's... tank at zero attack or zero upgrades only does 35 damage. So if you have uh, one armor upgrade, the Zerglings it, will survive. Beyond so that, I, I... they get one shot. I should have kept building roaches. I started building zerglings because I'm like zerglings are good against tanks. And at this point, I have three, 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 like right. three, three melee, three armor, three range. Right. And and uh, but I kept building zerglings because it was like, oh well, you know these will help. And that's why I kept running out of minerals and I had all this gas because I quit building roaches. And and I I never even put down a hydroden. Or uh, even aspire or anything like that. I was, just, like I said, I thought we were gonna win this at like 12, 15 minute mark. <laughs> but like you said, you gotta keep expanding. Yep. Like, yeah, I'm on 64 workers. But it's, it's 
84. Like, well, I'm at 46 burgers and I'm at FPI on a lot less. Yeah, actually. Red and I have basically gone, or, or, or on six bases, kind of equivalently. Um, I have a seventh base available that uh, that I'm starting to mine now. Yeah, I'm on five base, and my fourth and fifth bases are the only ones doing anything. And mm -hmm. he comes and he kills everything at my fourth. Yep. And then he goes and he kills a bunch of shit at my... <laughs> my yeah. fifth. So, like, so yeah, I was, I was down to like twenty, yeah, twenty-one workers right now. Yeah. So, like, honestly, because of how little blue has to mine, I'm wondering if red fed blue a little bit of money to rebuild hatcheries and shit. Because blue yeah. is doing, blue can't you, do you shit. Be right. You blue can't be do right. shit. So, like, yeah. yeah. So apparently, you can just six base tank hellion, and that's a thing. Well, so the, the one thing I will say is that, dude, I, I watch a ton of pro games, and all the casters say that once you let a Terran get to five bases, you're not going to win it, sir. So, like, ideally you don't even want to... Oh, this is where all my links die. Okay. Um, you don't want to even let Terrans get to um, four bases, but all the casters, any time a pro gets up to their fifth base, they go, that's not good for the Zerg, yep. kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're like the game has certain fluctuations. Like, where like it, the easy ones to talk about is like Marines pre-stim, post-stim, Zerglings pre-speed, post-speed. Well, right. Speed, speed only helps in the super early game, really. I mean, like really, that, that's where it's the most valuable. But dude, this is what's great about Broodlords. Is as soon as he saw Broodlords, he unseized like all yep. of his tanks and was like, oh. I think and his production over. is. <laughs> He has a starport. He has a singleton starport with a tech lab on it, producing one Viking at a time. And it's like, I can deal with one Viking at a time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And at this and point, I'm also killing did, off, he, like, that he was... did not expect the Broodlord transfer. No. He should have, and I should have done it sooner. Um, moreover, that was his main mining base. His economy, his income has dropped significantly. Wow, and like I start using a duct on the Vikings, yeah. Is. I'm just like, yep, yeah, pull it in, yeah. pop it, because he uh, like, he, yeah, because he tries to like but again, shoot. Look and... up here, dude. Yep. Like he's he's trying to get me to drop. Yep. Because he's hoping that like we don't play together normally, right? Right. Like, or like he he's, he wants me to pull my entire army to try and go kill these Hellions, where it's like, no, I'm doing more damage down here. Here, and this is where I this is where I send three Ultralisks. I'm like, okay, it's a handful of Hellions. I'll just send three Ultralisks over. Dude, I'm on 18 workers right now. But again, this is where he's like, fuck, hopefully they don't play together. Because yeah. typically, dude, if I didn't know you, I'd just be like, I'm done. Right, like, quit, I right? Have nothing yeah. left. You and this is where, I mean? like, I, I started building just extra spine crawlers because of all of these fucking just run bys. So it's just like, cool, yeah. we'll just have spine crawlers. It's like, okay, fuck. he's killing all of these workers, but he'll pay for it later. Well, and this is what's so weird to me. And, and, and thank God my fucking lings did a little bit there at the very end, because otherwise they're just going to go die to fucking tank fire. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but but this is what's funny. Like in in one v one games, I I will build the the spine crawlers. I'll I'll do these things. But when I'm playing with you or you know with you and and Tim or you and Chris or everybody or you and your Aaron, it's like dude, I I get stuck where I'm just like oh they'll take care of it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Fuck dude, that that was a, that was a hell of a game. Yeah, he still had a bunch of tanks, but again, yeah. he knew it was over. Yeah, like he, he he doesn't have enough Vikings to deal with the the Broodlords, so I'm yeah. just gonna just cut through well, him. And, and, he's... and you're double his supply. Yeah. And, and notice he left first yep. too. Yep. Yep. Oh, and just just at the end of the game, I see fucking uh, <laughs> infested one of his guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. I was trying to get some use out of the infestors, man. Yep. The entire game, I was trying to use them, and I just didn't. I hit one fungal at one point when you're like coming in with the fungal, and I was like, oh fuck, they're not even nearby. And it, I got like a fungal basically at the end of the fight when it didn't even matter. <laughs> but uh, all right, Mike, I, I'm I'm calling it. I yeah. gotta go to bed. Night, but, dude. Uh, that that yeah. that shit was insane. Night. Uh, uh, that was a ton of fun, man. So yeah, we'll we'll catch you catch you tomorrow or the next yeah. thing. So <laughs> all right, see you, dude.